everybody. Uh, just back for a quick little video here. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust this stuff because it's not looking the way I want it to. Um, let's see, we got time. is 3.30 a.m. Uh, just want to talk to you guys about halfpasthuman.com. Cliff High. Those of you who are curious about uh, alt currencies and cryptocurrencies and stuff like that, um, you should really check this out because he's got a new report out now that he's titled Bare Naked Wealth. And what it is is a report similar to the Alta report, which he does, um, which he's using um, linguistic or predictive ling linguistics. Um, so he uses web bots that basically collects all data on the internet, including the dark web. The uh, you know, so he has all kinds of crazy stuff that comes out. So if you haven't um, had a look at the Alta report that he does read, uh, that he does release, it's only fifteen dollars, and he releases that every month. Um, and basically, you get the same project or not the same projections, but you get a timeline of projections um, that slowly changes as you get closer to those uh, events. And uh, the reason that I'm really starting to get behind uh, Cliff High here on HalfPassHuman.com is um, because I've been following a few things that he's been saying, and that's kind of how I'm going to start basing some of my uh, investing into cryptocurrencies. And one thing he said was that by the end of April, Bitcoin would be at fourteen hundred dollars. Now, uh, I follow. I've been watching the charts and everything very closely the last few months, and uh, today, uh, just after noon, Bitcoin surpassed fourteen hundred dollars. And uh, that's pretty phenomenal. So that's, I mean, obviously that's only one thing, uh, but there's been several others. So if you go through, you start reading what he's done, check out some of the interviews that he has done with like Greg Hunter and uh, Jay Snip 4. Um, actually, Jay Snip 4 has uh, been given permission, I think, to uh, just read off basically some points to try and help promote uh, this for Cliff. Uh, which is, he does a really good job of picking some things that are definitely pertinent to uh, to his viewers. So uh, that's kind of what I'm, I'm going to hopefully maybe start doing as well a little bit here. But, uh, I mean, I have no contact or no, I do not know Cliff High at all at all. So <laughs> just know that, uh, you know, the guy seems to be pretty solid. Uh, he's very honest and open. Um, uh, I'm going to try and find his channel as well because... Uh, there's a few of them floating out there. So basically, you can follow Cliff High at Half Past Adventures. So that is his personal website. So C L I F, Cliff High. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put all this stuff in the links for you guys, okay? So if you are interested, then definitely head over and check it out. So I'm going to put links for the uh, the Bare Naked Wealth report and uh, the Alta reports. And then every month you can go to the same place and purchase the Alta report. The Bare Naked Wealth report is $100, but it's also for the entire year. So it goes from May 2017 to May 2018 with everything that has to do with the cryptocurrency. And uh, the reason I, I'm going to buy this is because, like I said, a lot of these things that he's been, that the information that, he's been interpreting has been saying is coming true and you know it's not always down to the minute or the day but if you're within a day I'm pretty happy with that I'm good so uh, I encourage you all to check that out especially like I said if you, I've had a lot of questions lately about the cryptocurrencies which is awesome they are the only thing that is not completely controlled or controlled ripple it has a bit of central bank influence um, backed by central banks um, so if you know they're kind of the bad guys but uh, you know the other ones they're free they're free of that bullshit fiat currency ponzi scheme um if you guys haven't checked out um, mike maloney's hidden secrets of money mini series it's a seven video roughly a half hour per video and he explains the global financial creation process and how they perpetuate the system explains how uh, uh, yeah, basically how economics work and how they are manipulated to show us kind of what to do in life so economics dictates you know well we have to work this many hours a week because uh, we have to ship this many cars out to these many people because 
This one smashed one up because they're irresponsible, so now they need a new car. So, and then this one just doesn't like that car anymore. So that's throwaway society. You know, we all don't, we're all caught up in our own thing, whatever it is. So, uh, I hope that cryptocurrencies are going to offer us, along with precious metals, because there's no way, you know, you can't just have cryptocurrencies. There has to be some type of, of physical backing to, uh, uh, to so-called wealth. Um, you know, and hopefully, hopefully these cryptocurrencies will start to help us look at money a little bit differently and what money really is and how important is it. Um, you know, I've said this before, but money is, uh, it's a store of wealth for our time. So think about it. It's not $10. It's 25 minutes of your time. That's 25 minutes of your life. Is that worth a pack of smokes? Is that worth a gram of weed? Is that worth a big ass hamburger? Um, and sometimes, yeah, hell yeah, those things are worth it. But there's a lot of things that you know we all spend our money on that just is not worth it in the end. It doesn't. It doesn't always give us the euphoric feeling. It doesn't always help us get through the day better. You know. There's just so many. Yeah. It's disheartening, right? disheartening that we're all kind of stuck in this but one thing I know about all the viewers that I have and the people that I've been hooking up with on YouTube and getting to know a lot better and even at uh, metalsmafia.com guys if you're not on that check it out too it's a good way to get involved with some of the cr uh, content creators out here on YouTube um, they're kind of everybody we're all starting to kind of pool there it's a good way to out people when they're you know screwing the community over and uh, it's a good way to collaborate with the rest of the community as well. And I think that silver gold stacking community are going to be leaders. You know, just like the cryptocurrency guys are going to be leaders in the future to come. People aren't going to understand this stuff. Our friends and family, they're all going to run to us. We really are sitting on the precipice of massive change in our world. And we have the power. To make it go the way we want it to, to choose the currency that we want to operate with. Uh, so you know, thank you all so much, and uh, check out halfpasthuman.com. This guy Cliff High is amazing. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over. A few, so that's the web bots that this guy created uh, back in the '90s when I guess he was a part of the creation of the uh, the internet and some of the. Uh, or a lot of uh, algorithms and computer programs that uh, were developed as a result of the internet. And uh, so the guy is just wicked smart. Uh, so these little web bots, not little, <laughs> these uh, web bots, you know, computer web bots go out across the entire internet, across the world. And then he's got different sets for like Russia. So he's got a set of data that has been intercepted from outer space. I know people, some people are like, huh? But, you know, he, he calls it goat, or goat farts and, and space monkeys or something like that. That's the title of the category because he doesn't know what to make of it. He's not telling you <laughs> that you have to believe that. He's just telling you where the information is coming from. So when all of a sudden a new set of data streams started to flow in, he was kind of shocked. And then the stuff that was in there was even more shocking. So... Uh, I guess that's uh, part of the breakaway society. Which, you know, when you really start looking at it, you'll see a, there's more evidence for that than, than there is for not that. You know, for it to not have existed or, or for it to not exist. Um, we all know that our government suppressed technology from us. You know, we, how hypocritical is it that they force petro and oil industry and, you know, fossil fuels and then they carbon tax us for pollution. Oh yeah, fascism, right, sorry. Everybody likes fascism, right? That's what it is, so. <laughs> oh yeah, and they do that just so all those oil company, energy companies can make the banks even more money, right? So, anyways, I think that, uh, you know, we all sit on, in a seat of influence for our family members, 
they might ignore us now and they might think we're quacks now, but there will be a day when they call us geniuses. And I guess I'm kind of biased towards Cliff, his information like that, because, you know, it does support my beliefs. And uh, so I am I'm guilty of being a bit biased towards that. Um, it doesn't support all my beliefs. I guess I didn't mean to say it that way. It's uh, some of the information supports what, what I have hoped for, you know, for our world, for our planet, for all of us to be able to be free human beings, free human beings. And I don't think people realize that you don't need a government. You don't need borders. You don't need anything to be a free human being. What does it matter? Why can't you just be a person? So obviously there's a lot of religious bounds and ignorant biases from society, you know, people raising people to believe one thing or another just because that's what they were taught and there has never been a damn good reason for it. It's like, well, why do you wear your hat? Take your hat off at the dinner table. Why? Well, it's rude. Why? I don't know. I don't think it's rude. Wear your hat on my dinner table. Looks good. I like hats. Oh, you don't want to wear a hat? Take it off. That's fine too. So, I mean, there's stupid, stupid ways of judging people and putting them down. I've got to go. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, again, always thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you to the entire Silver community for coming together and helping us, you know, out this Frank bugger. And, uh, you know, making us all a bit wiser for the future. So, right on, guys. Um, get on that other video. If you don't see my name, your name in there, get on it, because I want to do this draw. So, and uh, I definitely want to set up the um, 500 subscriber giveaway, which will entail a little bit more work than just being a subscriber. I've uh, run into too many. <laughs> it's just taking too long to find at the 250 people and I have a guilty conscience already because it's like who am I gonna miss I'm gonna feel horrible I'm not compensating people I miss this time because I have given like three videos I've given out so people have a chance to get it on there and let me know so thanks again talk to you later bye